everybody. Thank you for coming. Here it's Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. We're here in Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, rewiring a bunch of baseboard heaters and some thermostats, wall thermostats for a bunch of tenants here with one of our property management. Uh, today, basically what we got called over here to do is to diagnose what the issue was. And the complaint was that when they turned on the, the older thermostat, it would trip um, the breaker right here. And so we kept tripping here circuits one and three. This is a 240 volt breaker. What we ended up finding is inside of the old thermostat, or excuse me, on one of the baseboard heaters, um, one of the wires had finally melted and it was grounding out to the cabinet and it kept shorting out. So what they asked us to do is put together an estimate for the owner, so which we did, and we basically told them the efficiency of how um, a new baseboard heater is going to be better than something that's aged over 40 years. And so as you can see, an old thermostat here, typically they're supposed to click. And as this one, the brand new one, you can hear it clicking in here. There's a piece of bimetal in here that tells you its temperature. Well, in here, there's absolutely nothing. So these things not only were being inefficient by how old they were, but they're also running all the time, which was not a good thing. Um, basically, what we install typically is some of the best that I think are on the market, and that's a Marley. Uh, Marley is a brand that you can get at most of your electrical wholesalers. It's not something you're going to find at your big box stores because of the fact that it's just they typically put in a poor quality, in my opinion. Um, but over here today, what we're dealing with is uh, just taking them off the wall, which is a pretty simple procedure to do, making sure the power is off, of course. And then once it's off, we'll have to cut the base uh, down here at the, uh, at the wood. And how we cut it was just real simple with the Milwaukee tool here. Uh, it's an adjustable oscillator. And that just basically cuts your wood, and then you slap this on. And when you put in your new one, you're just going to really reuse some of the same connection points and then slide it back on and then wire it up. So a um, couple things to keep in mind. Why would you replace your baseboard heaters? Well, number one, they're inefficient when they're 40 years old. Number two, um, parts start to short out and the insulation starts to wear down. And number three, the thermostats aren't working properly. But keep in mind that 240 volts, when two wires decide to short out, it's like two trains hitting yourselves head on. The other thing we were doing here to safe off for the tenants is this AC uh, unit right here. This window AC unit, as you can see somewhat, has had its cord completely taped up. Well, this thing was just resting on the baseboard heater. So you want to be careful that you don't start a fire by using long curtains here or by using uh, a cord, for instance, like this or any other piece of equipment or couch put in front of it. The best rule of thumb is to take a brick and stick your bricks down there and then slide your couch back so that way you know you're never going to come all the way back on your baseboard heater. Anyways, uh, thanks for uh, viewing us and, and checking out our YouTube. And if you have any questions, give us a call. You can reach us at www.peterson, P-E-T-E-R-S-O-N, electric, L-L-C.com. Thank you. Have a good day.